This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. During a visit to United Steelworkers Local 6787 in Burns Harbor, Cleveland Cliffs CEO Lorenzo Goncalves said that Nippon's proposed $14.9 billion purchase of U.S. steel is dead because of political opposition. He said that President Biden has listened to the concerns of the United Steelworkers Union, which has vociferously opposed selling U.S. steel to a foreign owner. Goncalves said that his own company is interested in buying U.S. steel, though he doesn't know how it will play out. The home builders Andrew and Geeter Means built more than 2,000 homes across Gary, including the prominent home at 2044 Monroe Lane that came to be known as the Geeter Means House. Now the historic mid-century ranch house of Means has a new future. Indiana Landmark sold it to the Gary Eastside Community Development Corporation, which will now carry on the renovation work while working to determine a use appropriate for its significant historic heritage. And in sports, Antonio Pipkin brought his push football camp to Morton High School this weekend. The Gary native continues to look forward to this yearly event and how it presents the opportunity to give back and help future football players. You just see what they do for their guys to get them guys exposure and development, and it's, it's second to none. And um, being able to partner with a, a, a school that's in that same mind state to keep it about the kids and not be concerned so much about any personal agendas, that's top notch. And I think they do an unbelievable job in that. And uh, for as long as we can be here, we want to be here. Adversity is going to strike. It's about how you respond to it. The acronym for push is praying until something happens, being a big believer in Christ. And then the double entendre is playing until something happens. The next play got to be the best play. And uh, we just got to understand that. And we got to preach that to the youth because if not, you can't charge somebody something they don't know. So if we're able to teach that, get them to know that, man, the sky's the limit. On the high school baseball fields, Munster and Lake Central get together for a Friday night battle. Here's a look at that game. Lake Central has not lost since April 10th. Now the Indians look to add another win as they host arch rival Munster, who comes in having won two of its last three games. LC up one in the second and looking for more. The Indians with a man in scoring position. Bryce Gillardin fields the sharp bouncer and fires to home to cut down the runner. Munster still trails by one though. Fast forward to the home half of the third and LC gets the sticks going. Drew Costaba lines one in the center. Griffin Tobias is in. Lake Central leads by two. Later the bags are packed for Andrew Arnold and the senior unpacks them. Arnold absolutely cranks one that finds a gap and left. Scoring first is Brendan Smith. Right on his heels is Costeba. Hustling in behind him is Ryder Fernandez with a third run. The Indians take a 5-0 lead on the double by Arnold. Tribe not done there. It's now 6-0 as Nicholas Robinson finds the left center field gap. The senior drives in another man in the form of Quinn O'Brien. Another run for the Tribe. They wind up scoring 8 in the frame. Lake Central continues to find success at the plate in the fourth. Fernandez adding to the LC hit tally as the this ball drops into left and then bounces over the fielder's head. Costeba continues his busy night on the base pass. The junior turns on the burners and comes in all the way with more insurance for the home team. Lake Central adds on and never looks back. The Indians win 11-0 and make it seven straight W's for the Tribe. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia and this has been your 219 News Now.